Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and I know it normally doesn't take long, but this must be some sort of record. In today's video we're looking at 3 Pixel 6 exclusive features that you can get on pretty much any Android or Pixel device. So, let's take a look. Now keep in mind that this may not be a long term solution, Google may patch it out of future versions of Android or make it not work on some other Android devices, but for now in today's video I'm going to be showing you exactly what you need to do to get these new mods installed on your Android or Pixel device, all the APKs that you need and the process that you need, plus also giving you a bit of an overview on each of the three applications that we're looking at today. Now if sideloading applications isn't your thing in regards to downloading APKs and sideloading them onto your device, keep in mind that a lot of the time when this sort of thing happens, Google makes some of these features available on other Android devices. Now it may not be at the very start because obviously they want to sell the newest and greatest Pixel device, however later down the line if you've got maybe a Pixel 4a or a 5 for example, you may get some of these features in a software update. If you're using a different Android device from for example Samsung, then yes these features may not be coming over to your device, but then again I don't think it will belong until other manufacturers and OEMs start to implement these features into their new versions of Android. So first up, and probably the least important of the three applications, is Gcam 8.4. And to install this APK, you'll need the application Split APK Installer, which of course with everything else is going to be linked in the description down below, but the Split APK Installer can be easily found on the Play Store. Once that application is downloaded, you need to click the link below for Gcam 8.4. Now once downloaded, open Split APK, click Install APK, and then click the Internal File Picker. Head towards your download folder and find the APK file, and then just click Select and then Install. And that's pretty much it, and this works across all three applications that we're talking about in today's video. Now the new features in Gcam 8.4 aren't necessarily groundbreaking, it's more of a visual tweak. So for example the shutter button looks slightly different, and when you switch to the front facing camera, there is a new ring animation around the camera cutout. Now you also have new icons at the top of the screen to show more easily the different modes that you may be in, like Night Sight for example. However, all of these settings in regards to picture and video resolution and some of the more in-depth settings are still going to be behind the actual settings icon. You're not going to see any more sort of manual controls appear on your screen when you're using the camera, even with the newest version of Gcam. One cool feature though is that Gcam 8.4 allows for external recording devices such as a Bluetooth earbud. So right now I have my LG Tone Free earbuds paired, and you can see that's what it's using for the mic pickup. So this is pretty cool if you don't want to use the onboard microphone on your device, or you just maybe want to get a little bit better sound with some pair of earbuds that you may have hanging around. So overall nothing too crazy, like I mentioned, more of just a visual tweak to the application itself. Now onto those really awesome live wallpapers that can be found on the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. Now the way that you install this APK is exactly the same as it was before, if you've forgotten just head to this timecode down here and that will take you to the specific part of the start of the video where I talk about the APK installation, however this time you need to click on the Pixel 6 Live Wallpaper APK. Now these are some really nice live wallpapers direct from the Pixel 6. Now you've got 6 in total with a mixture of colours and light and dark themes. Now changing the wallpaper is the normal way, but you have these new bloom options. And once you've long pressed on your home screen to change your wallpaper, each one can be further customised with the settings in the wallpaper picker. You can change the wallpaper you want and also the blur to add some extra depth to the wallpaper and also free up some space to highlight some new Android 12 widgets maybe and your applications at the bottom of your screen. They all have a nice parallax effect as well and you can change from light to dark modes depending on your system UI or if you want to you can specify exactly if you want the light or dark version of the wallpaper. Now overall these are some really nice live wallpapers direct from the newest Pixel devices, however there is also a bunch of static wallpapers as well that also look really nice which again I'm going to have linked in that description down below. But now onto the application that I know a lot of you are watching this video for and that is Google Photos 5.64 which introduces the magic eraser feature to pretty much any Android device. Again, this is the time code of how to install the APK, but you need to click on the APK for the Google Photos application this time to get the ball rolling. Now this is kind of crazy to me because my Google Pixel 5 that I'm running here doesn't have the newest Google Tensor chip, which means that all of the new Magic Erase features and maybe some of the other features on the Pixel 6 are more software based as opposed to the actual chip itself. Now yes it may help in terms of speed for example, but the actual way that we're going to be getting these applications and using some of these features is app specific, so that's definitely something to keep in mind moving forward. So let's see how the Magic Eraser actually works. For this to work you want to pick a photo of something that you want to erase like I have here. You click the edit button, head over to tools and then click the magic eraser. 
Now the software itself will try and find what you want to erase and if it does you click erase and you're all done. If it doesn't find anything or doesn't highlight the right thing, you can manually select an object by circling it and clicking erase. Now you don't need to be very specific with this, Google does a really good job if you do a very big circle around a person for example, it knows that you're trying to cut out that specific thing, so you can be a little bit liberal in regards to what you're actually circling. And once you've finished snapping things out of existence, you click done. <laughs> Now the process of auto finding an object, I'm guessing because it's not using the Google Tensor chip, can take anywhere between sort of 10 and 15 seconds, however once it's found it and you click on the erase button, it's pretty much instant in terms of it getting rid of what you want it to. Now, is this perfect? Well, no, sometimes there is very strange artifacts left behind where it does try to fill in the blank space of what it thinks is meant to be there. If you've ever used anything like this in Photoshop, for example, you'll know that it's not always the best thing in the world, but if you do need to get rid of a small object in the background or a person from a landscape scene, for example, it actually does a surprisingly good job and it's a pretty cool party trick to show your friends and family. And that's going to do it guys on this video on how to get three awesome new features from the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro on pretty much any Android device. Now, I say any Android device, but obviously this is going to work better on a Pixel device, for example. Pretty much anyone that I've seen that's been using it on a Pixel line of devices from the 3A even up to the 5 have no issues whatsoever. And there's also been reports for it working on Sony and Samsung devices, but obviously that is going to be pretty much only on the newer line of their devices. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And if you're not already subscribed, now's a great time to do so. I've got a new video coming up very shortly about everything that is actually wrong and not so great with Android 12. So again, if you want to see that video, leave a thumbs up down below. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.